In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get a user's profile picture from their GitHub account when using the sign in with GitHub option. What we're going to do is build on top of a project that we worked on in the last video where we built a simple login with GitHub application. And we're going to extend this to add in a profile picture, which is going to make the account look more complete when a user first registers. So what we could do is force the user to upload a profile picture right away if we want this to look good or maybe just use their initials. But instead, we want to pull this picture directly from GitHub so let's go ahead and see how this can be done. So there's two main parts that we have to think about here. There's the profile picture and how we're going to get this. And then there's storing that specific profile picture and how we're going to access that in the future. So for the profile picture, we're actually just going to use an API endpoint that GitHub makes available to us. And let me show you what I mean by this. So when you go to any GitHub account, let's just go ahead and maybe open yours up, go into your profile picture and open the image in a new tab. And you're going to notice this URL right here. If I just remove everything after the question mark, this is the API endpoint available for every user. And this is my specific user ID for my GitHub account. Now, what we also could do is go ahead and remove that user ID and then remove the U right here, and then just go ahead and type in your GitHub username. So there's two ways to access it. If we just do that, we're also going to get our GitHub profile picture. So what we're going to do here is instead of the username is we're going to use that user ID. And when we log in with AppRite using a GitHub session, we're actually going to get that provider ID, which is going to be the GitHub user ID. And we're going to construct this URL for each user. Now, once we construct that URL, what we need to think about is how we want to store this URL. Now in AppRite, every single user object has something called a preference. And it's basically just a way for us to store extra information about a user. And it's just a JSON object with key value pairs. And we're going to create a key called avatar and then generate this URL for each user as a string and then store it as the value to that avatar key. And then from there, we'll be able to access it and then render that profile picture for each user. Okay, now it's time to see all of this in action. So going back to our code, we have this get user function that gets called on the page first loads. What we do here is get the current user object and then render the profile to screen. And then with this function, all we're doing is simply grabbing this username div right here and then setting the username as the text content right here. So very simple. It's in this span tag and that's it. So in here, inside of this try catch, what we're going to do here is check if a user has an avatar. So the first thing we're going to do is check the user's preferences. So we can actually just call account dot get prefs here, and this will get the user's preferences. And then from here, we want to check if the preferences have an avatar. So we're going to create that condition here. So if prefs dot avatar. And the next thing we need to do is go ahead and get the user session because the session is what tells us the user's GitHub user ID. So we first need to get that user's GitHub user ID and then we'll construct the URL. So from the session, we can go ahead and call account dot get session and we need the current session. So we'll go ahead and pass in current. And from here, this is where we can construct that URL. So we'll just do const avatar URL and using backticks, let's go ahead and grab our avatar URL and then we'll make this dynamic. So we'll go ahead and just grab all of this and we'll bring this in. And for this user ID part right here, we're just going to go ahead and add the dollar symbol and then this will be that dynamic value. So we can just go ahead and call session dot provider UID right here. So that's going to be the GitHub user ID. So we generate that URL. And then from here, all we need to do is go ahead and update the preferences. So we'll just call await and then we'll just do account dot update prefs. And we're just going to pass in the object. So we're going to grab avatar. So we'll just take that right there. And then that's going to be the key. And then the value is going to be the avatar URL right here. So once we actually call this user object right here, the preferences will be updated by then. And then we can go ahead and actually get those preferences. So what I'm going to do is Go ahead and uncomment this. So the first thing we do is call user.prefs.avatar. So that means we now have that avatar. So we set it in the source right here for this image. So let's uncomment that. And then also I have the class of hidden here. So I'm just simply going to remove this right here. And then that's going to be set. So let's go ahead and actually test this. So my server's on. So I'll go ahead and go back to my page right here and we'll refresh everything. Let's hit login and then give that a second. And once it renders, we should have the profile picture and there we go. So this profile picture is directly pulled in from GitHub. And if we actually go into our AppRite console now, we can actually see where these preferences are stored. So if I go to the auth tab right here, 
we'll go into the user object here. We're gonna be able to see preferences right here. So it's just a key value store. We can add our avatar URL. So I can at any point just copy this and see the actual avatar. So we generated this URL dynamically. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the AppRite YouTube channel and I'll see you all in the next video.